Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at three new solo mode action figures from the Fortnite line from Jazzwares. We have Fenix, Unpeely, and Triggerfish. So I just recently found these at my local Walmart. I've been looking for them for a while. I didn't know exactly when they were supposed to come out, but I knew the new line of stuff was coming out sometime soon. We've seen some vehicles and other things, box sets like the, uh, the two Meowsles uh, set that I did was in this kind of new packaging. And I just want to say first off, I love this new packaging. The old packaging was so cumbersome and hard to open, and, and this is just so bright and fun and colorful, and I just absolutely love this new packaging, so I just wanted to shout that out real quick. Uh, you get kind of a cool little picture of the character over here, and then you can easily see the character here in the plastic. If we spin around to the back, you get just kind of like a little quote for the character with a nice picture, and then you can see who else is available. Now, they did have Ice King, but I have an Ice King from the like a previous version with a slightly different color scheme, so I wasn't that excited for him. I could not find Kit. I absolutely need to find Kit. Little cat driving around a motorcycle robot. Gotta find that. So hopefully I can find him, but I could only find these three. And like I said, they did have Ice King, but I decided to pass on them. But these three look absolutely fantastic. Like I said, I just love this new packaging. I just really like it so much more than the old packaging. 29 points of articulation, 28 points of articulation, 25 points of articulation apparently unpeely loses the articulation race i'm assuming that's because with the way his head is he doesn't have any kind of neck articulation or head articulation because he's just a giant banana so it is what it is i also want to shout out real quick i think it's cool that they come with their harvesting tools but i do also wish that they had some weapons i know you're supposed to buy those separate like ammo drop things to get weapons for these guys um, and then Unpeely just comes with two fish. I mean, at first I was like, does he use the fish as his harvesting weapon? Because that would be hilarious. But I don't think he's going to be able to hold them because his hands look too small. So I don't really know why he comes with two fish. He apparently just has some fish with him. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and get these three out of the packaging here and we'll take a closer look. So here are the three figures out of the packaging. They look absolutely fantastic. I think Fenix might be my favorite, but honestly, it's really tough because Unpeely is pretty fantastic as well. But I just love all this detail, all these paint applications. He looks really, really good. Head sculpt is really nice. He's got a hinge in the neck so he can look down, can look up, side to side. You can kind of tell, I think it's a hinge and a ball joint. You can kind of tilt a little bit side to side, but certainly you can look side to side and you have the hinge. You have a hinge in the shoulder as well as a rotation. You have a hinge and a rotation in the elbow, and then you have a hinge and a rotation in the wrist. He's got kind of an abdomen swivel. He does have waist movement as well. It's just, it's a little difficult with the kind of abdomen swivel right there, but they are two separate points of articulation there. You can kick forward. At the hip, you can kick out to the side. Kind of has a butt flap, so you can't really go that far back. You can swivel the thigh there. You have two double-jointed knees. You have a hinge here in the ankle. And then you can rock this side to side as well. Now, his extra point of articulation comes from his tail. So that's the one he has over Triggerfish. Because you can swivel that all around. But yeah, he's a great-looking figure. And then you can see the, I guess, like, studded baseball bat pickaxe, the harvesting tool, whatever you want to call it, that he comes with. But it's just a really nice-looking figure. I mean, all the paint applications, you can see the little purple studs here on his shoulder pads. You have these little, I guess, grenades he's got down here on his thigh. Just really, really solid-looking figure. Absolutely fantastically detailed and painted. Really nice articulation. Like I said, I kind of wish he came with a gun as well, but that's my only criticism. It's really quite an exquisite figure, so I'm going to stand him back up there. Next up, we have Unpeely, and he can actually hold the fish, so I guess these are his uh, harvesting tool, his pickaxe weapons. I'm going to go ahead and just take him out temporarily. He can kind of, you know, hold on to them at the very bottom. But honestly, they're pretty detailed as well. They have the, the eyes and the mouth. They look great, molded well. Uh, he's got the straw hat. You can actually remove this. I love the look of him with just the glasses. You can put the straw hat back on, though it's very easy. And this is kind of a softer, rubbery plastic. Uh, but again, he loses articulation because obviously he doesn't have anything in the neck. But he does have the hinge in the shoulder as well as the rotation. Hinge and rotation in the shoulder. or the, Yeah, I already said the shoulder. This is the elbow. And then you have the hinge and the rotation in the wrist. So pretty much the same as Fenix there. You can get a waist swivel, but he doesn't have the abdomen. You can kick forward. You can kick out to the side. Can't really go that far back, but you can go a little bit. Uh, thigh swivel, 
double jointed knees but you got to be careful because it's like right at where the uh, shorts end so just be a little careful with that but it shouldn't be an issue and then you have the hinge and the rocker in the ankle and i love his little flip-flops i love all of the applic paint applications here on his swim trunks and i love those sunglasses absolutely fantastic and then you have the straw hat that you can put on top really really well done and then last but certainly not least we have triggerfish he's got such an angry expression i absolutely love it and he's got this army helmet with this kind of magnifying lens here he's got the i think he's got the hinge yeah i think there's a hinge there in the neck it's just a little limited because he does have that scarf molded in but of course you can swivel side to side he's got all the same articulation as fenix in the arms in the torso he also has the rotation in the hips the knees everything all that articulation is the same I love the axe that he comes with. That's a really awesome harvesting tool. I think that looks good. And I mean, just look at all the paint applications in detail over all these figures. These figures are $10 a piece. I got these for $10 a piece at Walmart. They're four inch figures. And they, they, they all have over 20 points of articulation. They come with an accessory. The paint applications, the molded detail are all off the charts. I honestly don't know how Jazzwares makes these and, and makes a profit because... These are just really amazing figures for the price, and I absolutely love them. So I cannot recommend these three enough. Like I said, I really cannot wait to find Kit because he looks fantastic as well. And I'm gonna have to start looking into some of the uh, like you know more accessory packs and the vehicles and things like that. I know they did the the uh, big semi truck, which is pretty mainstay in the game. They did the reboot van. They have some other vehicles and and somewhat play sets like that as well. So I'll have to check into some of those, but. These figures are really great. I really love them. I think for the price, you really can't beat them with the amount of articulation, paint applications, even the accessories are really good. Like I said, my only complaint, I wish they all came with a harvesting tool and a weapon, but they have that kind of play pattern where you get the supply crates just like in the game. So they all come with accessories and weapons. So it's really fun. I mean, Jazzwares is killing it with the four inch figures. We got Hasbro killing it with the six inch figures. It's definitely a good time to be a Fortnite action figure collector. So Definitely pick these up if you can. I cannot recommend them enough. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.